Hey everyone, my name is Lisa and I'm part of the Clinique Education team here in the UK. I thought today we could chat about something actually as simple as applying foundation. What are some of the tips and tricks and actually how can we really make the most out of the foundation? I have already cleansed and exfoliated my skin. They're like my top two things in the morning that I have to do just so that my foundation actually sits nicely. I'm gonna use the Moisture Surge. I love this one as my foundation base because it's like this beautiful addictive gel cream texture. So I'm just gonna chuck that on all over. I have a 21 month old, which means I have a very small amount of time to put my skincare and makeup on in the morning. So I'm just popping it on all over. I should really give a little bit self of a treat of moisturising and really massaging that in. And you know, I personally find in the past, if my skin hasn't had the right products underneath, like my foundation will go that real dry, patchy way. And I'm like, why does, why does it look like that? The moisture Surge, because it's packed with hyaluronic acid and aloe biofermin, they really keep the skin plump and glowing and really deliver that long lasting hydration. Next, we're gonna go into foundation. I actually have two foundations here. I thought it'd be nice to talk about the differences, you know, in coverage and finish. They both come under the even better name. We've got the even better makeup up in the SPF 15, this is this one, and then we also have the even better clinical serum foundation which is SPF in 20. The difference is this is a moderate coverage and this one here is a full coverage. The even better makeup will really give you that natural finish, it's got a beautiful like creamy formula that's really stretchy, I think it's really easy to apply and the even better clinical serum foundation is really going to give you that matte satin finish. The good news is you never have to feel guilty about wearing foundation because everything we know and love about our skincare goes into these foundations. I'm going to go for the shade Buff, a really small amount goes a really long way. It actually comes with a pump built into it which I absolutely love. Pop one pump onto my hand, pump dispenses the right amount of product you need for application. So this is the buff brush, I'm going to dip the buff brush into the foundation and I'm just going to start to blend all over. What I like about the buff brush is, is the fact that you actually buff it into the skin. So as you see as I go along here, like in these sort of circular buffing motions, the foundation doesn't sit on top, you know where you have days where it looks like your, your foundation is just sitting on your skin. So this brush here helps to really deliver that product into the skin to give it that more flawless look. I'm just going to do this all over. Colour's looking good, as I said, I'm wearing shade buff. And it's such an easy product to work with especially when you've got that great hydrator underneath. So I'm just gonna do the same on this side. As I mentioned, it helps to actively improve the skin as you wear it. And the ingredients that are in there that do that are vitamin C, you've got salicylic acid, and you've also got hyaluronic acid. It's also got your SPF 20 in there, which means it's gonna to help to really prevent from future discoloration. You know, SPF is something that I just consistently think about all the time now when it comes to products. We make sure that everything, especially under the nose, except you always forget to go underneath the nose. I'm going to keep doing that. And I'm going to just avoid the eye area because I'm going to come back to concealer. Woke up to some blemishes this morning. So I'm going to go in with concealer afterwards and do that. And there we have it. Also to share the Even Better Clinical Serum Foundation just won the Sunday Time Style Award for Best Base Makeup, which is amazing. I'm going to go on to concealer and a little bit of powder just to finish off the look. I'm going to use the matching shade of Even Better Concealer. So the foundation I used was buff and also the concealer I'm going to use is buff. It's actually already designed to be two shades lighter than your skin. It's got your little double foot applicator. So I'm just going to sort of pop it into the corners this is where I get the darkest. Um, a little bit underneath the eye and like the outer corner as well. And I'm also going to go into blemishes very, very shortly. Less is more. It's actually a full coverage concealer. However, it still looks very natural. So I'm going to pop it in here. And I would always use it as my eyeshadow base as well. So I'm just going to do the same here. So I'm just going to pop it in. Right into where the darkest parts are. And blend that seamlessly into the eye. We've got ingredients in here like vitamin C which help to really brighten the eye and also caffeine to give the under eye area that little bit of an energy boost. I woke up this morning with some lovely blemishes so I always do concealer after foundation because there's no point in putting it on beforehand because otherwise the foundation would just move it. So I'm just going to just go into the blemishes and really blend those in. I love this concealer. I always think it sometimes when you put a concealer on it it can make the spot actually look Worse. but this one here, although it's still covered because it looks so natural, it just blends so well and never looks cakey. 
So the last step that we're going to do just to really finish off this foundation look is using the blended face powder by Clinique. It's called Invisible Blend, so actually like it's just a very natural setting powder. When I apply powder, I pop it onto the flat side of the brush, tap off the excess, actually press it into the skin because when you press it into the skin, it helps to set that makeup. Rolling that onto the skin, mattifying, control any excess oil, and just setting my makeup so it looks great throughout the whole day. And it, the fact that I don't have to tap, top up is super important to me. And that brings us to our completed makeup look. I hope you really enjoyed some of the foundation tips. All the products that we use will be in the description box below. And if you are looking for your perfect foundation and your perfect foundation shade, you can actually go into clinic.co.uk and we've got something called Virtual Try On and you can uh, be color matched on there. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon.